Despite its distance from Timor-Leste, the United States remains one of the biggest contributors to defense and humanitarian aid. RTTL World News reporter Zeri Madeira met with the new U.S. Ambassador to Timor-Leste, Donna Ann Welton, to discuss the current state of cooperation between the two countries. As you know, Timor-Leste was founded on the same values and, and uh, commitment to independence, sovereign, uh, sovereignty, human rights, um, and working for its people. So we share a lot of that um, between us, and that, of course, makes it much easier for um, us to have a good, strong partnership. So we uh, want to be that consistent, supportive partner uh, with Timor-Leste, with the people, with its government, uh, to think about how you can um, build this, build on the foundation that you have for a better future for your, your people. Um, President Ramos Horta always talks about reducing poverty and focusing on child nutrition. And I think I agree with him that those really are the priorities uh, for the country because they factor into your future, right? If you don't have a healthy um, young group of people to take over the mantle or to, to do, be the next generation of leaders, uh, then, then Timor-Leste will not be able to do as well as it should. Earlier this year, Timor-Leste joined the World Trade Organization and Timor-Leste is working on gaining full membership to ASEAN. Right. How do you think this will impact Timor-Leste? Both of them are incentives. They're, they're an opportunity for a country to really raise its standards. So to raise its business standards, its trade regulations, its openness uh, to accepting more invitation, uh, more investment and, and making it successful, right? Um, and for ASEAN, of course, joining a regional consensus-based group um, both raises the status of Timor-Leste but also opens new markets, it opens education exchange, so they're, they're all opportunities for that. The United States has been very supportive of Timor-Leste's application to ASEAN. Mm -hmm. How else has the United States helped Timor-Leste or provide close cooperation? We began helping Timor-Leste even before 1999. Our greatest success stories and one of Timor-Leste's greatest success stories is our cooperation on the coffee cooperative on uh, CCT. So that started as a project from USAID, uh, even before USAID was in Timor-Leste. So that, um, that support to agriculture and to the economy uh, is something that we have done over the past you know, 20 plus years of Timor-Leste's history, but also something we'll continue in the future because that's, um, that's a huge part of, of making you a successful country, right? Having good at strong agriculture. The other areas where we've helped, of course, is we, we do cooperate in the defense area, like we talked about before. Um, we train uh, police officers. We have a fairly large compared, to, you know, for, for the country, Peace Corps contingent. Our Peace Corps volunteers work on business development and English language as well. Plus we, we have years of scholarships. We have the program like Access where you, you uh, learn some English, I understand. Uh, so we have many programs like that as well. So I, again, we, we, we focus on economy, on livelihood, on people's well-being, their health and, um, and education. Do you expect U.S. assistance to continue? We have many programs in progress, and they're all planned for five years or more. So I, I think that we view Timor-Leste as a, as a good partner of ours, and we want to be a consistent and, and a partner for many years to come. Well, hopefully, um, as Timor-Leste grows, you will need less de development assistance. But in the, in the near term, we're, we're going to be working very closely with the government and with civil society to um, select the best ways that we can invest in Timor-Leste so you have a better future. Is there any trade potential between U.S. and Timor-Leste? Well, yes, there is. Um, as you know, with the coffee, uh, we have over um, about $10.5 million worth 
of coffee that the U.S. company buys, the U.S. companies buy uh, from Timor Leste every year. Uh, so that's the large, the largest amount of of exports to the United States are in agriculture, uh, coffee, vanilla, cloves, um, that that type of specialty spices and coffee. But as you develop your agriculture, um, I think that that's a, a big potential uh, for you in the future. And of course, we also we also have a small trade um, in in our agricultural products like chicken. Given your background in public outreach, how do you think the U.S. can support free and independent media in Timor Leste? So we've we've supported with many programs to support um, media in Timor Leste. Um, lots of journalists have worked with us on improving skills and and ethics, and we'll continue to do that. Uh, we also realize that in an age of social media influence. It's doubly important for people to understand the sources of information and not be overly influenced by misinformation or disinformation uh, that's, that's just out there. That's a problem for the United States. It's going to be an increasing problem for Timor-Leste as you have more and more access to social media. Thank you very much, Ambassador, for giving us your time to do in this special interview. Thank you. It's a pleasure.